So I'm sure you're all wondering as of now, since the balance changes just came out, which are the dominant brawlers in the meta? I'd like to start investigating this thoroughly because there were a lot of changes and I believe that there's going to be a lot of new brawlers making their way to the forefronts that we haven't seen in quite a long time. So what we're going to be doing today is going over the best brawlers in every single rarity to get to the bottom of this early meta. So hopefully you guys are all pumped up. Let's get straight away into it. Here we go. Okay guys, so like I said countless times, it is one of my favorite things inside of Brawl Stars whenever we receive a balance change to see some of those brothers that are dominant in the meta for quite some time to slowly make their way down to the middle of the pack and then some of the brawlers that are towards the bottom to try to push their ways up as well as maybe even clinch like a top five spot, which I believe we actually got with this set of balance changes, even though the buffs were mostly to brawlers health. But without any further ado, let's get straight away into the lowest rarity, the best trophy role brawler in my opinion is going to be going to Tick. Now I feel like it's a really close toss up between Tick as well as M's, but since Tick just got a buff in the last set of balance changes to his attack damage, I think he's going to be a very relevant brawler in this meta moving forward. I thought he was decent beforehand, I thought M's may be a bit better than Tick in the last meta, but with his attack damage increase, guys, Tick just stands behind walls, he doesn't need health, he doesn't need anything. If he's going to get a really good buff, it's got to be to his attack, and he got that. So I think he's going to be fantastic in this meta moving forward. So what we're going to be doing is hopping into a match of showdown i'm going to be trying to stick to showdown for the majority of this video today even though you probably should be playing tick in showdown um but we'll see what we can do here i might switch it up we'll have to see it's been a really long time since i just had a dedicated showdown video i know you guys like the game mode but here we go let's see what we can do so we spawned really close to a box there's gonna be some <laughs> pretty uh simplistic gameplay here guys tick what you gotta do is just bush check and there's a lot of bushes here on this map, so we might be in uh, a pretty bad spot on this map. So we'll try our best, guys. Okay, here we go. So someone went down already. We are at, like, 500 trophies, so if we just played passive, we could probably get close to, like, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> if that Daryl, well, I shouldn't say if he was smart, um, but that Daryl could have just cornered us really easily, just followed us the whole time. Is He could honestly do that. <laughs> It'd probably be in his best interest if he wanted to speed up this match just to go in on us. He's caught the attention of the Tick. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> Man, Tick sucks. <laughs> I would hate playing against him. Go for the Daryl. Look, he's got 600 HP. <laughs> Stupid Daryl. Now I got my super, so we got some aggression here. Okay. Is Tick OP now in Showdown? He's going in for us. 100%. 100%. He's got his super really, really soon. So we're not going to be safe here. Man, this Tick gave play OP. What do I got to say about this, guys? What do you think? <laughs> Tick is now OP in Showdown. Change my mind. <laughs> okay, so we just got a bunch of bush camping uh, shotgunners, I think. I'm going to toss down my super. Let's try and rack up another super here. Nice. We hit him. Is he going to go in for the health? What the heck is going on? Tick is so good. Where's that bull at, though? That's what I'm worried about. I bet he's up here. Dude, this map is not good for Tick in the later stages, though. It's funny. The map, like, you can progress through it fairly decent. But once it gets to this point, as you can see, there's four quadrants. <laughs> you just have, like, a tank posted up in every single corner. So if you can't hold down your corner, you are absolutely screwed. Um, but, guys, I will take that fourth place on Tick. Come on. So, guys, moving on to the rare brawlers. And I feel like this one is also getting close to a toss-up. But I still have to give it to my main girl, Rosa guys, I feel like Primo is making his way up there in a very very big way just because some brawlers towards the forefront such as Frank and things like that Frank is being really really good brawler being played in the meta right now and Primo's a pretty decent counter to to Frank But I still got to give it to the staple Rosa Rosa is still incredibly good in the meta She's gonna have to take quite a few nerfs in order to make her closer to the bottom of the tier list And as you all know, she wasn't touched in this last set of balance changes So hopping straight away into another 
another game of Showdown. We'll see if this game plays a bit different than the last. I'm going straight to the middle, guys. If I'm playing a brawler like Rosa, I ain't home back, baby. I'm not playing passive. I'm going straight up aggressive. So I'm going to disregard this box here. I'm going for the super stacks. And if we have time, if no one pressures us, come here, Daryl. Uh-oh. Is this a mistake, guys? I don't think it was. I think we're doing just fine. <laughs> Let's heal up a bit. Yikes! <laughs> Maybe it was a mistake. Ah! <laughs> Dude, the art of being aggressive. This is how it works here. You want to go, Barley? Okay. Barley, you need to screw off here, bud. <laughs> what did I do to you, huh? Do you want me to go for you? I will go for you. Don't tempt me, Barley. Uh-oh. Okay. My only goal in this match is to kill this Barley. He's hit me like 15 times, I would say. <laughs> I will kill you by the end of this, Barley. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think there's a Leon in here. Unless he used his super to get away. He's a teeming barley that hit me 15 times, guys. This guy deserves to die. Don't you dare take this kill from me. Let's pinch him. Yes! No! Oh my goodness! You freaking Daryl. Who do you think you are? Huh? Okay, we're going down another fourth place. Is that like our destiny in today's video? I'll take it as long as we're not losing trophies, guys. As long as we're not losing trophies. So moving on to the Super Rare Brothers, everybody. So in my opinion, I feel like not a lot has changed in the Super Rare Brothers. Now, it is still a pretty close call because in the last set of balance changes, they both got significant nerfs to the things that were carrying them in the meta, and that is their shield star powers. But if I have to uh, pick one, I would have to say Carl is a bit better than Daryl right now. I feel like the nerf to Carl's um, star power was a little bit less devastating staying than Daryl's just because the only thing that you get from shielding from the Daryl star power is when you're rolling not when you're um, able to shoot and that's a really really big deal um, the rolling reload is still a decent star power but you really have to um, second guess what you're going to be rolling in on now without that shield so we'll have to see moving forward but I still think Carl is a bit better right now moving forward you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what you think about that one and I don't think we're using the shield star power believe it or not I know I've said this in some of my videos You'd be crazy if you aren't using Carl's good star power, but my goodness, I really enjoy. I play this game to have fun, guys. I play it to have fun and whatever I'm better at. And I really like the speed increase. And the way I would play Carl is more control based. I don't play him overly aggressive. I feel like I'm not good with him aggressively. So I'm I feel like I'm much better at doing that chip damage, maximizing DPS. And then if I need to use my super majority of the time, it's me like running away. Okay, let's try and hold down the middle. Let's try and get some poke damage here in the mid. But we do have to be careful because Daryl has um, his super probably close to being charged up. Let's try to get better than fourth place, guys. I think it's possible here. Nice. Let's try and take out this Daryl. Nice. Let's go, guys. That's a big final boss out of the question. Okay, probably shouldn't hit auto aim there. Probably could have got a little bit more damage on him. But still, guys, we're rocking things. We're four power cubes in the books. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to, like, the diversity of team comps that the both uh, Daryl and Carl fit on, I would say Daryl's a little bit more diverse in the meta. I think he's a bit better. Like, he's really good in showdown. Carl, not as good as Daryl. Um, Daryl really good at heist. Carl not as good, but man, the game modes that Carl is good in, he's really, really good in. But here we go. Fourth place, guys. We need to have one person die in order to beat our fourth place stalemate. Can we do it today? Okay, here we go. Alright, this is the one thing that I hate about this showdown map. People just camp. It's so boring. <laughs> do I have to stir up the pot, guys? Camping for lamos. I know a Daryl's here, a, a freaking BB's here, and a Colt is down here. You want to go? Yeah, you trying to go in on me, bud? Okay, at least we're not taking fourth place, right, guys? Man, these camping freaking noobs. I'm telling you right now, it's aggravating. I'll just push you away. I'll push you into the Daryl. Why are you going for me, Daryl? Look at this juicy three power cube Colt. You crazy 
you crazy boy. Okay, here we go. Let's get one more shot or a couple more. Picks it. Oh, 46 HP. Come on. Give me that first place. A man needs his first place to keep him sane. Uh, but guys, moving along to the Epic Brawlers. And I got to say, this is by far my favorite rarity in the game because of this set of balance changes. The best Epic Brawler moving forward in this meta is definitely Frank, guys. And he only got a 300 health increase. Now, it's not just because of the 300 health increase. It's because of some of the hard counters to Frank got significant nerfs in the balance changes. So he got a lot of indirect buffs um, to his characters. So I feel like it's definitely landing him in the top five best brawlers in this meta moving forward and i'm very much so looking forward to seeing how he's going to be played in the meta and seeing like pro players really do good with him it's a lot of fun i feel like frank has been bottom of the tier list for so freaking long it's cool to see someone flourishing that hasn't flourished in a really long time and i mean guys we have b in the epic brawlers as well i feel like um it's probably the closest call between b and frank but still i think frank is a bit better so since we're on showdown guys we have to throw on sponge and flex the 10,000 health oh my goodness just just picture that right <laughs> he has 10,000 health with sponge that is so much we double this 8 bits health <laughs> and showdown if you're not using sponge you're crazy okay you need to make sure you just pressure the enemy teammates the enemy team comp you just walk at them <laughs> just get close we got our super and man frank is one of my favorite brothers to play in showdown by far so much fun can we group him up? Okay, we should probably not go in on the Daryl. And if we are, if he supers in on us, we have to be patient. We have to wait for the super to come in, knock us up, and then we super. Probably take some good damage, but once we clip him once, we should be able to kill him. Okay, here we go. Dude, a lot of Frank and Showdown is just like walking around and pushing people around. <laughs> Being a bully with your health. Okay, let's back off. Like, there I feel like we took a lot of damage, did we not? <laughs> like, a lot of people were hitting us. I think the Nita got a chip shot on us. Daryl chipped us a little bit. The bow. We still had over half health. It's pretty OP. Man, these um opponents are, like, annoying me today. At least we got the final hit. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Too much health! Big man Frank come through. <laughs> Big man Frank tank your damage. It tickles. That's all it is. Just a little tickle. <laughs> okay, let's see. Will the Shelly react fast enough? Oh, it would. It would just spawn there. What a joke. We had the kill secured. Now we got another Shelly with super rolling in. We got two hard counters. Feels bad, man. So we shouldn't go in for this star Shelly Shelly. Because she has super. She can just uh, super away our... Our super. I guess we can still pressure. We don't need our super to really, like, 100% kill the Shelly. We can just chip her away. Push her out. Okay. Where's the Leon at? Okay. Maybe that'll stir up the pot. Why would you go for me? <laughs> Freaking punk. <laughs> We can't get first place. I had a Shelly, like, given to her, right? I had the Shelly on a platter for that 9 power cube Shelly. I hope she loses. Dang it! Oh, feels bad, man. But still taking third place by just being a walking pool of health. I freaking love it. Frank's going to be a lot of fun in this meta moving forward. Um, so next, moving on to the Mythic Brawlers, and this may surprise you as well, but the best myth Mythic Brawler, in my opinion, is Max in this meta. Max is fantastic now. Um, the DPS that she has is really good against, like, the tankier units that are going to be good in the meta here. Um, I mean, just for example, in a heist game that I was playing up against, I was playing Bull, and I was trying to lane up against the Max, and the speed, as well as the damage output and the amount of ammo that she can just keep chipping you away from is so annoying, and it's really good for a super you're a really good super fighter against them a fantastic tank um counter and i feel like a really good supportive character for like a 3v3 team comp if you have a lot of mastery with max you know what you're doing with her and you hit um you hook up your teammates with a really good super it can be devastating for the enemy team you can get a really good full team wipe um just with that speed increase but we'll have to see guys we're rocking rolling reload or not rolling reload <laughs> max is second star power we'll just say that um, it's far better in Showdown. We can open up boxes like it's nothing. Want to go? Just 
smack me away. Go ahead. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, let's get in the healing. No amount of healing is gonna save you, freaking BB. <laughs> What's this Mortis doing? I'll take a free kill. I'm not picky. No! <laughs> Our only screw up of today's video, guys. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Rusty with Max for sure. Um, one of my biggest things that I don't do right with Max is, especially in Showdown, is I just ham auto aim out of instinct. Um, I feel like it's really hard to line up your shots with Max. Um, but definitely don't want to do that in showdown. So moving forward guys the best legendary brawler here and please disregard Mr. P's trophies I'm sorry guys. I just don't have fun playing with Mr. P. He's not that fun in my opinion um, But the best legendary brawler is a toss-up between spike and Sandy now as bad as I want to give it to spike Just because he has been that relevant in the meta for a very long time I still think Sandy is a bit better than spike spike got a very significant buff to his overall DPS his attack So he's gonna be really relevant in the meta probably top like eight or top five in my opinion as like best brawlers in the game right now okay so we found our match with sandy let's see what we got here we got a rico and anita right next to us which are two decently good brawlers to go for in showdown when you're sandy the only brawlers that can be a little bit tricky are like some of the shotgun tankier units well it depends on the map right on a map like this the shotgunners can just hide in bushes and find a good wall but on a more open map you can just hunt them down you know <laughs> Just find them and keep pressuring them into corners. That's one good thing about Sandy and Showdown. He is so dang good at just pushing people around with his speed. Um, but here we go. Let's see what we got here. We got a barley in the middle. You're crazy. Or no, it's not a barley. It's a spike. <laughs> Die, spike. Okay, let's see. Nice. This Nita is on steroids. Crazy Nita. Okay, let's see. A lot of people playing with Shelly and Showdown as of recently. It's pretty crazy. All right, let's wait. Pinch the Shelly. Nice. All right, we're taking heavy fire. Heavy fire. We're at half health. We're boxed in by a lot of people here. I'm just going to keep this Rico in this corner. so Because we, we like two tap him. Three tap. Okay, there we go. Four power cubes. Let's go like this. Nice. That's just killer. Okie dokie. Let's go, guys. Six power cubes. Sandy is so freaking good in showdown. What is this? It's pretty crazy. Okay, can we get a first place, guys? Can we get that first place? We need it. I think the Nita is still alive. The really OP Nita. Okay, bit. You want to go? Die. <laughs> freaking spammy, a bit. We got to get this win. Are they teaming? Are right, we going like this? Don't. I want this first place. Don't do it to me. Dang it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of our video. The best brawlers in every single rarity so far. It's one of my favorite things to do whenever we get a fresh set of balance changes. I like to kind of investigate the meta along with you guys getting your suggestions and things like that. Expect a worst brawlers in every single rarity sometime this week. And then a overall tier list. Once we get some more information, I'm going to be playing quite a lot in this meta as well as some of my pro player friends are going to be grinding their butts off to get some good perspective on their end as well but guys let me know if you agree with my list in today's video that'd be awesome i'd love to hear what you guys are thinking on these videos but yeah with that being said make sure to keep having fun brawl stars and we'll see you in the next video peace out